Cobia, also called ling and lemonfish, are very popular among anglers across the Gulf of Mexico and in the south and mid-Atlantic because they hit a bunch of different baits, a variety of live and artificial baits. They hit hard, they fight hard, and they taste great on the table. As popular as they are among fishermen, they are also a bit of a mystery to fisheries managers and biologists. They can be found on many different habitats, including oil rigs, artificial reefs and wrecks, and floating sargassum grass mats. They are sometimes in water as shallow as 10 feet and as deep as 1,000 feet. Anglers have caught them along Louisiana's coast as close as the rock jetties right off the beach near Grand Island Fouchon. Florida anglers target them migrating through shallow waters along the beaches of the Florida Panhandle. Scientists and fisheries managers know surprisingly little about the various habitats important to cobia, especially the floating sargassum mats that always seem to be holding eager and aggressive summertime lemonfish. Many sargassum mats were heavily oiled during the 2010 BP Gulf oil spill, but little is known about the long-term impact of that contamination to fish and their habitat across the Gulf. The Theodore Roosevelt Conservation Partnership, in conjunction with other fish and habitat conservation groups, like the Coastal Conservation Association, American Sport Fishing Association, the Nature Conservancy, and others, are advocating using oil spill recovery dollars to get a better understanding of sargassum grass, reefs and wrecks, and other habitat vital to cobia and other sport fish. For more information about the work of the Theodore Roosevelt Conservation Partnership in the Gulf, please go to our website, www.trcp.org, and click on our fisheries page. 